Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is uh, Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. In this short uh, review walkthrough, I'm checking out a 2021 Flagstaff Superlight 26 FKBS. Uh, this unit has an unloaded vehicle weight of 6,836 pounds, a cargo carrying capacity of almost 2,000 pounds, and an exterior length of almost 30 feet. What's unique about this unit? It has a 12 volt, 11 cubic foot refrigerator. I love it. Here's the layout. Of course, you could pause this video at any time because I shot it in 4K for your visual pleasure. In the back, you have a full-size queen bed and you have plenty of seating up front. I was visiting an Explorer USA RV Supercenter uh, near my house in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. They just received a whole uh, bunch of uh, Flagstaff products, uh, quite a few of these FKBSs, and I wanted to check out this one because this one had solar and a DC fridge. Up front you have a power uh, tongue jack, uh, two 30 pound propane bottles, and right back there you have uh, an area where you can put two batteries, if you wish. And under the propane bottles typically is the uh, shut off switch for the 12 volt. You have two slides on this unit and uh, right up front you have an automotive style tinted window. Down here are the stabilizer jacks, they should be uh, useful, they're powered. and. Uh, of course, a heated and enclosed underbelly. On this side, you see the uh, awning style uh, frameless windows, and they're nicely tinted. They have made uh, quite a few changes for the 2021 uh, model year. One of the better changes I appreciate, and I'm pretty sure you'll appreciate, are the Goodyear tires. These are the better American tires, not the cheap Chinese tires. These are the better tires. This unit has dumps, terminations on both sides of the tires, so you're going to have to determine which is which. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Of course, you get aluminum uh, structure, nicely welded. And this is the storage area in the back. It's not a pass-through storage, but it's good storage. And this is the main storage area. They have a modest storage area up front, only modest. I like that plastic cover for the wheels, the spare tire, and of course you can see the awning style windows back there. And you have a ladder going to the roof. Let me go up there. You have a solar panel, two AC units, uh, the Max Air fan with cover, and you get the uh, Wi-Fi Ranger which is now enclosed in the antenna, the over-the-air antenna. What do you think? Right below the spare tire is a 300-pound uh, little hitch there where you could put a bike rack or uh, put some storage. It's all up to you. It's very conveniently located right there on the bumper where you hold the stinky slinky. Here's your cable and satellite connections, your city water connections, etc., etc. And to the right you have your potable water fill and, of course, your exterior shower, etc., etc. And the fresh water drains right below it. Let me uh, back up and show you the, all 30 feet of this unit. This is a nice unit. It has two doors. The one that's closest to us goes to the bedroom, and the front one goes to the kitchen and the living area. So, and you also get two sets, not one set, uh, two sets of the Moride Step Above Entry System. I really appreciate that. They don't cheap out and just give you one. And right above it all is a very significant and very long awning. There's a little ledge where you can put a table or uh, the grill that they give you. You can put one here and one up front. They have two areas where you can do this. And right there is the alternating current and the antenna connection. Here's a shot of the entrance, the main entrance. Let's go front for a little bit, just for a little bit. Uh, there's that other ledge where you can put a table or the grill and of course the exhaust for the heater and the, you know, water heater. I have a little bit of storage right here. It's a uh, pass-through storage. It goes from the kitchen uh, to the outside world. So there you can, uh, it's a easy way to get access to your plumbing, of course. That's useful, don't you think? It's some of your tools up there to the right. 
Let me slam this latch. Uh, this unit offers slam latches, which is a bonus, I think. Let's go inside. Let's first uh, take a quick peek at some of the flooring. And of course, they have the vents in the floors in this unit, unlike the microlight, which has the uh, in cabinet uh, heating. They have the We RV app uh, incorporated into this uh, unit. Uh, it controls a lot of the functions that are typically, uh, you know, designated for this panel here. So if you have a phone, Android or iPhone, you can control a lot of the functionality of this uh, travel trailer. They have a nice little roll-up blind right there for the front window, and you get some good storage right here. You could hang up some items, you can put your shoes in there, you, it's up to you, what's your choice, what you want to put in there. And I really like the new uh, Newport Ash cabinetry. It's a lot lighter, it's a lot more uh, fresh looking to me, I really like it, it's not so dark, and you, know, you don't feel like you're in a cave, <laughs> unless you want to be in a cave. There's a big screen TV, some receptacles back there. There are various manufacturers of uh, head units uh, for the uh, RVs. This one is the iRV Technologies. I really like the quality. And there's your space heater slash uh, fireplace. It gives a little ambiance to your travel trailer. Wanted to show you one of the registers, the heat registers in this unit. And of course the flooring. I really like the look of that lighter wood in the flooring. Here's a shot of the front galley. Thought I'd show you a little bit of the roof, the air conditioning unit, and the, of course, the vents. Let's uh, mosey on over to the uh, oven and stovetop by Magic Chef. Uh, also, refrigerators by Magic Chef. They must have uh, got a good deal. So here's a three-burner cooktop with uh, cast iron grates. That's a fantastic feature. I really like cast iron grates. But what do you think? Let me open up the oven. Personally, I would have uh, liked the uh, larger oven uh, from uh, the micro light, the mini lights, but they gave you this little smaller oven, which is okay. You get a two bowl sink, it's stainless steel, not plastic. A few years back, uh, a lot of uh, Flagstaff and Rockwood products had plastic sinks. I'm glad they got away from that. Here's a shot of the cabinetry. Of course, you get all solid wood doors. Uh, nice uh, hardware. Uh, keeps everything working appropriately, not some cheap hardware. And they're hidden hinges, of course. That storage is easily accessible from any side. It's, it's open all the way across. You get this 1.3 cubic foot built-in microwave oven as compared to the typical 0.9 cubic feet. So they give you a larger microwave oven. I'm going to close these doors. I like the backsplash and of course the uh, stainless steel sink and get some storage right there. And that's the <laughs> that's the area where you can access stuff from the outside or from the kitchen. Let me close that. A great spot for a garbage can. So here's another shot of the kitchen area. You get the uh, solid wood door fronts, oil rubbed bronze uh, hardware, uh, plywood box uh, construction for the drawers. Again, solid wood uh, door fronts and all metal glides. Very nice, very high quality as compared to a lot of other manufacturers. They screw and glue at uh, Rockwood and Flagstaff. They don't just staple. So here's the dinette area. You got two areas where you can hang out. Plenty of room. I like this. And of course, you get the blinds and the nice uh, balances. But what do you think? Just pull on it and it goes up. Give it a little tug and it works. Let me let in some light. That's nice. It was a bright day in Fort Worth, Texas. I just want to remind you I don't work for uh, any RV dealership. I just do this uh, for fun. I enjoy shooting RV videos. Give me something to do during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, check out some of these uh, latest products uh, from the different manufacturers. Again, I don't work for anybody. I don't get any commissions. I don't get any kickbacks. I don't get any special deals. Here's a table. You can take it in or take it out. I wouldn't take it out. I would keep it inside and make sure it's in perfect condition. 
I love these seats. Being an unrepentant slacker, I'm going to check out these chairs. I'm going to check them out. I'm going to sit down on them. I'm going to enjoy them. This offers you the perfect TV watching position. And of course, I can point. I can still point even at my advanced age. Pretty solid build on these chairs. They give you a nice uh, recliner. And of course, right over here, you have an area for two cups and you alternating current and two USB connections. Very nice. I really, really appreciate this. Everything's nice and convenient. So I'm thinking this would be a perfect spot to have a beverage, relax, watch some uh, sports, watch the news, hang out with the wife while she's knitting. Let me roll this up. Yes, it works perfectly. Amazing. Amazing. Eventually I got off my butt and I'm going to show you these light fixtures. Uh, they can either go blue or they can go white. A lot of manufacturers have these little uh, lights, these LED lights. I like them. And of course you got right above there, you got some storage. Let me open up one of the cabinets. This would be a perfect space for my wife's knitting and some of her books. Not all of them, just some of them. I really like the tones also of the furniture and the cabinets and the floor and it's a nice combination. For a 30 foot uh, travel trailer I think this uh, you know pretty much it knocks it out of the park. Let me open up the refrigerator, the DC refrigerator. Wow! 11 cubic foot. It replaces a 8 cubic foot gas electric. It's amazing that in the space that originally had an eight cubic foot refrigerator, a propane electric refrigerator, that they now can, you know, fit in that same space, an 11 cubic foot DC fridge. Amazing, totally amazing. And these things are super efficient. And since you have solar on the roof, this thing will go on forever. It'll last uh, while you're boondocking and get charged up with that 190 watt solar panel on the roof. So let's leave the uh, lounge area, the kitchen area, the area where I'm going to be watching TV all day. Uh, let's go to the restroom and check it out. It has a door to go in and out, no sliding door, just a regular door. And uh, there's that porcelain foot flush toilet. Very nice. And you have plenty of storage under uh, the sink right there. You can put a nice garbage can and put some of your chemicals. You have a plastic sink, of course. And right there's the medicine cabinet, and up here is that Max Air Fan. Of course, that Max Air Fan uh, also has a rain cover, so it's incredibly useful on those stormy nights. A little sponge drawer, let me close that. You have a receptacle right there, ground fault circuit interrupting a, a connection there. And there's your uh, Neo Angle Shower. This uh, travel trailer takes advantage of Aquaview Shower Miser. It's a uh, system by which they uh, recirculate the water, make sure it's warmed up to temperature before you use it so you won't be wasting it. To the left is an area where you can put some towels, some odds and ends. It's oddly shaped by the way, so it's not exactly configured perfectly for like linens and stuff like that. Just some towels would be perfectly fine in there. As we pan to the right, eventually we're going to get to the shower ring. I have to show you that shower ring. Let's show it to you. There it is. That's the shower ring where you can put a towel. Now let's go into the bedroom. There's your other door. You have two doors in this unit and both of them have the uh, Moride step above steps. So there it's a comfortable way to get in and out of your travel trailer. To the left is a mirrored closet. Uh, plenty of room to hang stuff. And there's your uh, queen size bed. This is a nice size bed. I like it. It's a residential queen bed. I have no complaints. I like it. They have some new bed coverings this year and some new pillows. Get some windows here and there. They all open up. So in case you uh, want to get some fresh air. There's some receptacles, a little table there. You get two little tables on this side. Get one there and you get one back there. Very nice. On this side, you only get one table. I do like that headboard. And right above it, you have some pass-through storage and you have some nice little lights right under them. They turn, of course, blue and white. You have options in this world. 
New for uh, 2021 is the Newport Ash cabinetry and the oil rub bronze hardware. I like it, but do you like it? I like the lighter woods myself. Some people like the, uh, the darker woods. They do have that option also, and you can order it that way. An area where you can hang your uh, outfits. So when you go camping, you don't want to look out of style, do you? We're almost done with this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. There's an area there where you could connect a TV. And let's pan over to the second AC unit. Two AC units are always better than just one, especially in a 30-foot travel trailer. Let's head towards the front. So what do you think of the uh, Newport Ash lighter tones for the interior? I like it. And the old rub bronze hardware. And of course the Mojave tones they use, uh, they call it the Mojave pattern. They have a chocolate uh, for the upholstery. And I like this uh, lighter combination with the lighter uh, Newport Ash. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. Thanks for checking out my uh, walkthrough of the 2021 Flagstaff Superlight 26 FKBS. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.